So I had an incredible experience being an athlete, participating in the Olympics and being on top of my game. I also, at the same time, met children in the most disadvantaged areas of the world, not having access or the opportunity to play. And I found that the fundamental part of development of a child is the right to play, where you learn the life lessons, the skills you need to overcome diversity, poverty, violence, etc. And I've, I found that there was some, such a critical element for every child that they should have the right to play. By introducing play in the community, the communities where are different uh, ethnical or conflict areas. All of a sudden the children play on the same team. The parents are coming around watching them, understanding that they actually can interact. They get a platform to talk and con have a conversation. Of what we have done, we have added an element for after each game, we call it Reflect, Connect, Apply. So they reflect on what they just did. They're connected to the daily life and learning new skills to apply it in the, daily, in the other parts of their life so they can continue progressing with that type of behavior inside the community. What we have re seen is reduction of violence. In the school system, by learning literacy, numeracy through games, children are more motivated. They understand better why they should learn and their, their interest in learning is increasing, meaning that they also get the self-confidence and importance of school, which means they stay longer in, in school. We are operating with over 16,500 teachers around the world who all said they had no time for play. They came and said, we don't know, understand how to play anymore. We've forgotten how to do it. We have this very big demand of us to how that we have to t educate. So we said, let's, let's break down demands. What is the curriculum and how can we do the lessons through play? When a teacher stands in front of the 50, 60 students, they're not listening anyway when you stand there on the blackboard trying to um, do a one-way educational moment. Over half of them is not turning up over the next five, four or five or six years. So you have to change. And they are so motivated to change because they want to have an active learning from the child's participation. Teachers, I found, is the most motivated individuals because they're passionate about the child's learning development. And if we can develop games who's actually teaching the curriculum. The, you can teach literacy, numeracy, geography, language, everything can be played and, and be taught through games. So I think there should be no inhibition, though there is a big change for the teacher. They had to learn it and you have to be practicing it. You have to have people who inspire you and tell you how you can make the games into learning lessons. And we are doing that at Right to Play. My vision is that every ministry around the world should understand how powerful play-based learning, structured play-based learning and unstructured play is for the development of child, that it is integrated about one to two hours a day in that, in the, in the ability for a child to develop because they will become more creative, more have better control of their own learning, they will learn academically better and they will have a better relationship with the teacher and students in the classrooms. This will transform education and my vision is that it actually will happen over the next 10 years.